Not a blinker. I'm not going to put myself through that again. I've already done that once. Um, I am the gentle giant. Hey, Drew here. Back at it with another little Delta 8 review video. Today I'm going to be reviewing 3 Chi. This is an awesome brand. So I made my very first Delta 8 video a couple of videos ago on my channel and I got really good reception. But I got some feedback that was like, hey, you know, this might not be the best product. So I looked into like reviews on Reddit and like all different forms and everyone's saying 3 Chi is like the go-to. They actually test their product, which is important because like when you go to, you know, you're seeing this Delta 8 pop up all over smoke shops. I've tried some from smoke shops and a lot of them fucking burn the shit out of my lungs and it's like, what the hell is in this? Like you can't just trust going to a random smoke shop. So yeah, this is from the 3Chi website. They're like 25 bucks. You can order them online. You do have to be 21 or over to order. Let's get right into it. I mean, it's literally like water clear, which is very interesting because I've seen a lot of dark Delta A cartridges and I really don't know the difference. But the fact that 3Chi tests their shit, I trust it. Doesn't take much for me, you know? I'm a very trusting person, sometimes to a fault. Cheers. <coughs> oh God, I need some water. This McDonald's cup's like three days old. Oh, and it's burning hot. That's some hot water. And it wasn't a good idea. <coughs> it's a Texas heat water. It's a wet heat water. <coughs> uh, woo! Okay. First thing I notice is like, you're coughing, right? With any cart. That's kind of expected, especially with a blinker. But I notice with the coughs, it's definitely more of a clean cough. Why do I do this? <coughs> Whoa. Whew. Okay. Let me, let me get my bearings over here for a second. Clean cough though. Like I'm good now. You know, it's not, it doesn't have that lingering effect. Now I noticed for this strain specifically, Northern Lights, I feel it mostly in my head. And I kind of noticed that with a lot of Delta 8 regardless of strain actually is the first place I feel is my head thing about this high is it was pretty instant probably because I took two blinkers in a row but now I'm in this space where I'm kind of kind of floating a little bit kind of floating and like I'm sitting here in, in a residential neighborhood you know with like people doing their lawn and shit and I'm not scared I don't have that sense of paranoia and some say that the Delta 8 is actually a better like THC for reducing that paranoia and anxiety that you might get with Delta 9. Now keep in mind, I did take like two blinkers, so that's probably why I'm feeling so good so quick. Still crazy though, and it's legal, and that's the thing, like I'm in a residential neighborhood right now, I got motherfuckers mowing and shit outside, I got people going on walks, and I just have this peace of mind that like, I can't, there's nothing I can get in trouble for. It's legal, baby. Like, how is it legal to feel this good? And why am I even asking that question? Because we've been programmed by the government to think that this is a morally incorrect thing to be doing. THC is Earth's medicine, and there's nothing wrong with it making me feel good. I don't know. I don't, is, that, is that like a hot take? It shouldn't be, in my opinion. It shouldn't be. Like, I'm addicted to antidepressants. I'm addicted to psychiatric medication. So is weed a harmful addiction in comparison? Is is any addiction harmful? I, I don't know. I, I, we're having a good time over here, okay? We're fucking getting zooted, all right? I just, my brain just defaults to those questions and that takes me back to like why I love being high because I feel like I'm a lot more insightful and introspective and I'm, I can go inside my body and like I love working out high because I can just feel, you know, my whole body and it's like, I don't know, you know? And, and, I, and I like, 
I know that's an unpopular opinion, especially with the older generation, and a lot of people don't get it when I say, like, I want to get off my medication sometimes, and that's not all the time, and I don't mean to be problem. Here we go again. Okay. Uh, okay. Back to the... Okay. We're... Oh, I'm sorry. I can't double inhale. <coughs> Not when I'm taking blinkers. I can't double inhale. I'm a little bitch. <coughs> Guys, gals, people of all genders. I, <coughs> I'm pretty faded. I just feel so connected with everything around me right now. I look at the trees and the birds and some people outside and it's just like I feel so connected to everybody and I feel the energy of the world and I can't say that about every time I get, well, I don't know, maybe just because I'm alone right now and I'm like when I'm alone and I talk to the camera and I talk to you, it kind of lets me dig into who I am and that's why I love doing these and that's why I want to do so more of these, so many more of these. Some of y'all might think this is some crackhead shit, but like, if you know, you know. Boom booms. Oh, so refreshing, so refreshing. I had a friend that recommended these and he was like, yeah, me and my wife, like we both use these, we don't drink coffee. He works a nine to five, she's an esthetician and she works long hours as well. And they put me on. And especially like when I'm zooted, Crazy, crazy. It's like a all natural nasal inhaler. Please sponsor me, Boom Boom. I'm Not a blinker. I'm not gonna put myself through that again. I've already done that once. Um, I am the gentle giant. And that was kind of like out of left field. But I've been hanging out with a lot of friends recently because that's been the one thing that's just helped my mental health so much is surrounding, I love my friends so much. Like I went to a festival with a lot of them like about two months ago and we had one of the best weekends like of my life. And I remember calling my sister the day after the festival and I was just crying. I might have taken a little bit of Molly, but like that was and like I was feeling, I was feeling some type of way afterwards. But I just called my sister and I went, I just wish there was some way that all I could do in this life was just hang out with my friends. Like just be around my friends forever and just be send love and peace and like just be there for each other and help each other through this life. Like, I, And I know that's what friends do, but I just wish that we could just cut all the bullshit, you know, and just make money, not even a thing, because money's fake just all live together peacefully on a big plot of land with our friends of whom we care about the most. I know it sounds like some hippie shit, but that shit comes from the heart, man, like it does. And I know that that might not be a logical way of thinking, and maybe it's some fantasy and it's ideological, but like let a man dream, you know? This world can be pretty harsh sometimes and get you really down and kick you, you know? And keep you down if you let it, and it's very easy to let it. So I don't know, just like let me dream, please. All right, y'all. Well, that's it for today's review video. I'm feeling really good. I'm about to go like do some yard work. You know, I got to tie up some twigs in the backyard today. So I'm going to go be helpful, be a man. Oh, before I leave, one for the road. Yes. Yes. Yes, y'all. Fuck, I don't want to leave. Like, I really don't, you know? I don't want to leave. I want to stay here forever, suspended in space and time. <laughs>
Can you tell I've done psychedelics? Honestly, look at me. I mean, fuck, you hear the words I'm saying? No, but seriously, like, I, that's some real shit. That's some truth right there. Like, the real things that matter in this life, beauty, love, creativity, joy, inner peace, all that shit is what matters the most in this life. Fuck everything else. All right, I'm out. Love you.